All right, welcome back, my addition experts. We are going to be adding numbers up to 20, okay? So let's get straight into that because I think you are basically experts at this by now. And I just wanted to practice using higher numbers. All right, before we start, just to recap, what is this symbol right here? What is this symbol right here called? Call it out loud, let me hear you. That's right, it's a plus sign or an addition symbol. And what does it mean when I see this? What do I have to do to the numbers? I what? Put it all together, nice job. So this means I put these two numbers together. I combine them. All right, so let's put together some numbers, some big numbers. All right, I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna put blue on this side now, ready? Let's count and see how many counters, I mean, how many cubes I put on the left side over here. Ready, count with me. One, two, we're losing cubes again. You're trying to run away from me. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, uh -oh. four, sorry about that, five, six, seven. All right, so we have seven blue counters. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the number seven, okay? Now I wanna add seven plus, let's do seven plus eight. Getting big numbers now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eight yellow counters here. So count with me as I put them on, ready? One, two, three, four, five, uh-oh, six, seven, and eight. We are gonna make a giant cube train over here. Okay, so I have seven plus eight. What am I doing to those numbers? Am I dancing with them? No. What does the symbol mean? What do I have to do? I have to put it together. Nice job. So let's put that together. So here's my seven, right? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we count on, right? We're gonna put it together. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I lost a cube over there, so I'm just gonna take one from here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh my goodness, look how long this is. So seven plus eight is equal to, or the same as, 15. Now, how do I write the number 15 again? How do I write it? A one and a what? Five. Good job. All right, let's do another example. So let's say, I'm gonna leave my seven over here, okay? I'm gonna keep that seven. And let's make this a 10. Wow, we're getting big numbers here. All right, so seven, I'm gonna move you down here. All right, this is my seven. And now we're gonna add 10 counters. So here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, I don't have tape there. Four, five, six, 
seven. All right, give me one sec because I have to find my cube that I just dropped. I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back, okay? All right, I'm back with my runaway cubes. Okay, here we go. So we left off at seven. Sorry about that. Seven and we want to get to ten. So let's keep on counting. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, that's a lot of cubes. And we're gonna add them or put them together. So let's do that right now, okay? Seven. All right, here we go. Super long cube train. Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count on. Count with me. Eight, nine, ten. My cubes keep wanting to run away. Let me go grab that. So again, we had seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Wow, check out this cube train. It's like bigger than my head. Seventeen cubes. So, oh, let's put that there. So seven plus 10 is equal to 17. How do we write the number 17 again? Who could tell me? A one, right? Say it out loud. And a seven. Nice work. All right, let's do one more, but without using cubes. We'll use pictures, okay? Because my cubes keep running away from me. They keep dropping, okay. So we'll do one more quick example, and then you'll do some on your own, okay? All right, let's go. I'm gonna say 13 plus five, okay? Now this is the first time I had two big numbers, well, a two digit number aside from the 10. So let's see how we do this. 13, let's draw 13, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 circles plus five more. One, two, three, four, Five. That's it, I'm done. No, I'm not. So I have to put these together. I have to figure out what it's equal to. So remember, the plus sign means I put it all together, right? So I'm gonna put a circle around here to show that I'm putting it all together and let's count it together. So here's 13. I know that already because I made 13 circles before, right? So I don't have to count it all over again. I could just go from 13 and then count on. So let's just do that. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. A one and an eight, 18. And again, notice, look how I sound. I crossed it out as I was counting on, just so I could, I know that I use these numbers, okay? And that is all you have to do in your assignment today. We'll go over a few examples, but the main thing that I want you to really memorize and keep it in your head is this symbol right here. I want you to know that this means that you have to add, you have to put it together, okay? That's the main takeaway of this. And then the more you practice adding numbers, the quicker and easier you get at it. You become an expert at it which I think some of you already have them, okay? Nice work. I will see you boys and girls on Zoom with Ms. Macedo, okay? Bye.